Hi, and welcome back to Remote Data Monitoring. We're still within Training Unit 2, looking at the automation environment itself. My name is Dr. Liam Moore. I am from the Munster Technological University in Cork, Ireland. This set of training has been brought to you from the Remain project, which is funded under the Erasmus framework by the European Commission. Again, the objective here within Training Unit 2 is to understand the automation environment, its architecture, what operational technology and informational technology is. We are looking at subunit 2.2 today, which is operational technology and information technology, otherwise known as OT and IT. We will dive into what each technology represents, the differences between the two and how they overlap. And now in unit 2.2, we are going to look at operational technology and information technology. The differences between the two and how they overlap. Our objective here is to understand what operational technology is and how that differentiates itself from information technology. Both terms may be familiar to you, but we're going to try and understand in some level of detail the differences between the two, but also where they might overlap and especially in relation to Industry 4.0. So operational technology is the computer network used in manufacturing facilities. It's the network and system that's used to connect all manufacturing processes, all machinery, equipment assets, along with the control systems and the SCADA network. It connects all the industrial control systems with all the operation technology that carries out the levels of control required. It was designed initially to improve all efficiency by providing real-time data, process control, monitoring capabilities, um, and obviously that all goes in hand in hand with automation. Operational technology tends to be isolated from under networks due to its criticality and the critical nature of all the systems that are connected to the network. Since you're dealing with real-world physical assets, any level of intrusion, cyber attack, or just any level of mistake or error can have serious real world repercussions and consequences. These consequences could be in relation to processes going down, going out of action, costing a company millions of euro, or it may even be something to do with life critical or mission critical consequences, especially if you're dealing with medical technology or biopharma processes which are all strictly regulated and controlled, any level of intrusion there could have con far reaching consequences. The OT networks operate with their own security policies and procedures, and they provide a critical role in manufacturing, providing the secure and reliable communications infrastructure needed for process monitoring, optimization, and control. So they're their cornerstone or bedrock of the vast majority of industrial manufacturing processes is the operational technology. On the other side, you have information technology or IT. So this is a term IT that probably everybody is familiar with, whether you work within a manufacturing facility or not. And IT covers the management of computer equipment, computer networks, software, systems, and data flows. It has three core focuses, which is the operations or the day-to-day -day IT management of all computer systems. So if you are working within your um, office and you need a new laptop, that laptop will be provided to you by IT and any security or any programs you require would also be installed by IT onto that laptop. The infrastructure of your office space and business space is also under the governance of IT. This is different to the infrastructure used by operational technology. This is infrastructure for computer to computer and business applications. IT also creates, is responsible for the governance, creating and aligning IT policies with the demands of the organization. IT policies can relate to data management, data storage, um, even as simple as what needs to, what processes and procedures are needed for the use or man monitoring or management of um, allocated laptops and computers and everything in between. 
IT is more focused on business process, where operational technology is more focused on manufacturing process. This diagram here is a representation of where OT and IT differentiate. Connectivity is central to IT, where traditionally connectivity is not a driver of operational technology. Operational technology is more focused on control and monitoring of manufacturing processes. IT focuses on the data flows, the business operations, and the data management of all business related data. There is a hard line to, that separates the two as it stands, but even with an industry 3.0, there is overlap between O2 and IT. So here we look at IT and OT characteristics. For security, the IT environment has a mature attitude to the risks involved with cybersecurity and has mature, mature technologies to help protect and prevent unwanted cybersecurity cyber instances. Operational technology is beginning to increase its focus on the risks posed by cybersecurity and cyber threats. The reason prior to this that it may not have focused too heavily on what these risks are is that traditionally the lower layers, if we look back to our automation architecture, would have been isolated from any external threats. And it was not as much as a concern. Cyber attacks for OT generally came within the factory and they did not have to worry about generally remote hackers getting access to their infrastructure. Real-time data, if we look at that as a characteristic, that is a critical aspect of operational technology where within IT, delays are expected and are okay, but would not be okay within an operational technology environment where in some instances you would want response times for our control decisions uh, within 20, 30, 40 milliseconds. Um, so real-time data is critical for the OT, but not so critical for the IT environment. If you look at the lifetime of assets, IT expects their assets to last three to five years, be they laptops, networking switches, servers, or whatever it might be. Assets within the OT environment are expected to last 20 plus years. Updates and patches, IT generally runs a continuous update strategy, and that is partially in line with their mature response to security based issues where they constantly make sure that everything is running the latest and greatest to help avoid any um, backdoor attacks whereas in OT because of the risk any update or patch might pose to the manufacturing process these rollouts tend to be infrequent and if they are if they do happen they tend to happen well planned and in advance uh, with advanced notification so any assets can be taken down and re-verified afterwards. Audit and testing um, within the IT environment is scheduled and is generally geared towards security, possibly also geared towards data management. Within OT, it's occasional and it's geared at safety. Again, a big difference between the two networks. Availability of the infrastructure and the assets. Um, it has to be extremely high for OT. Uh, the uptime of any equipment can depend on the operation technology that's underpinning it. So it has to be close to 99%. Whereas within IT, uh, availability, if pieces of equipment go down, it may not be as critical to the uh, functional operational of the organization. Where within OT, if something goes down, or if the OT network goes down, you are basically losing or draining money out of your account as you are not meeting manufacturing demand. We go back to our um, five layer model, and this will show us where OT and IT uh, might interact or where they might be uh, differentiated within this model. So OT ownership, level zero, level one, level two, generally purely in the operational technology domain and then there's an interface at the level three and the management domain um, with the IT uh, policies. So 
So IT ownership generally level four and party level three. And it's around level three that the OT and the IT are going to overlap or at least interconnect in some way. But this convergence between IT and OT is only growing, especially as Industry 4.0 and that revolution is underway. And these technologies, such as industrial Internet of Things, all the big data and the requirement to use advanced in analytics is going to push that convergence between IT and OT to greater and newer depths. So now the convergence of operational technology and IT can potentially happen at any layer of the automation model, and there is a strong case to do this. Utilizing those new technologies, utilizing the mature attitude to security that Industry 4.0 have, um, that IT have to Industry 4.0, you can now take advantage of potential process optimizations by further conversions of OT and IT. You can have better resource management by closer alignment between IT and OT, create better alignment with various organizations or very various departments within your organization, alignment between sales, procurement and manufacturing and so on, if there is a greater convergence between the OT and IT side of things. So basically the business operations gets a better view of what's happening in the manufacturing operations and vice versa. Greater alignments can be made. You can utilize more data combining streams from the IT and OT departments to get better insights to improve manufacturing and improve organizational decisions. We refer back to our um, five layer model. We're going to see more of a split between OT and IT right down the center, where the convergence is going to happen on every single level, not just level three and above. Convergence of IT and OT is not going to be without its challenges. Um, so IT focuses on interconnectivity. A lot of legacy OT equipment, a lot of the assets of the older generations are not inherently connectable, which can lead to black spots in your data. You have to start looking at retrofit solutions if you want a full OT, IT convergence. But that can be ad hoc, expensive, without the clear cost benefit or a clear business case to do it. Cybersecurity is obviously one of the bigger challenges um, when IT and OT start converging. Due to IT's remit of data and connectivity, it's inherently at a higher risk level from cybersecurity than traditional OT networks. So new policies as well as data actors, architectures are going to have to be developed and considered to reduce all cybersecurity risks that can be introduced in the OT space from greater interconnectivity to other systems. So this convergence and this greater interconnectivity that might um, happen within the operational technological environment is going to make it more prone to risks from cybersecurity. And right now, due to the nature of the assets and the, the real world um, implications that can happen from any attack, new security mechanisms are going to have to be in place to drive this IT OT convergence. And then on the uh, less technical side of things, ownership and understanding between automation engineering and IT are going to need to improve, are going to need to um, exist uh, to be able to manage this convergence. Traditionally, automation engineering teams are very good at the operational technological side of things and running their OT networks for interconnectivity or connection to various assets where IT specialists are good at the IT side of things. Defining who determines what policy works well and works where is going to require close collaboration between the two separate disciplines and an understanding of each other's operational space. So thanks for listening. Again, if you want further information on the Remain project or from Erasmus itself, go to the link shown on this page. And I look forward to talking to you again in training unit 2.3.